Hey guys, it's Christine. Hope you're doing well. Before we get to the workout, I just want to quickly share with you what I had for my pre-workout meal and what I'm going to have for my post-workout meal. So this morning for my pre-workout meal, I had a young coconut. Um, I had the water from a young coconut and I threw in a handful of dates and some cinnamon and some ground vanilla and I blended it up and it tasted amazing. Uh, you know what it tastes like is, I used to be addicted to cinnamon toast crunch, and you know when you put the cereal in the milk and then like let the milk absorb all the flavor and then at the end you drink the milk? That is what this smoothie tasted like. It was amazing. So try it, okay? Yum, uh, coconut water, cinnamon, vanilla, dates. That's it, and it's awesome. And I feel super energized and super ready to go right now. Um, I feel good. So after my workout, I'm going to have mangoes, and here is one of my mangoes. I'm going to have like four of these. They're pretty big. They're amazing. These are the best mangoes I've had since, well, possibly ever, but since last summer. They are tree-ripened mangoes, and they are so incredible. They were like $3 each, but seriously worth every penny. And like I said, I'm going to have like three or four of these. Uh, usually I eat a bigger meal after my workout, but I'm making huh, I'm making low-fat raw vegan brownies with peanut butter frosting later, and I'm making a video for that recipe too. So don't worry, you'll get to see how to make those. So I'm pretty sure I'll probably eat half the dough, and <laughs> so I don't need to have a huge post-workout meal because I'm going to be eating all day. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay. Without further ado, let's get to the workout. I'm really excited about today's workout because it's going to be an ass kicker. Um, I had another request to do a another uh, core focused workout, so that's what today is going to be. Um, this workout is really going to help you achieve that six pack, and I'll tell you why. Um, the reason is to get a six pack, you need to a have uh, you know a strong core and have the muscles there to show, and b you need to have a low enough body fat percentage so that you know there's not all the, like a layer of fat covering up your lovely muscles that you have under there. So this workout is a it's going to burn calories, it's going to burn fat, and b it's going to really strengthen your core. So I've put together it's in two parts. The first part is. Uh, 12 different exercises and we're doing them for a minute each, 50 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. We're repeating it three times, it's gonna be a total of 36 minutes. And each interval is kind of gonna have a different focus. Uh, one interval will have uh, more of a cardio focus, uh, another one will have like kind of a leg and cardio focus, and the third interval will always be a core focus. So we're just kind of, inter we're gonna like alternate cardio, cardio legs, and core, and that way we're going to be burning through those calories for the leg intervals, you know, the legs are a very large muscle group, that's really going to help you burn even more calories, and also strengthening those legs, the more muscle mass you have, you know, the more fat you're going to burn when you're not working out, so it's really important to build muscle as well. Um, yeah, and then obviously the core interval is going to be, you know, strengthening and toning everything in your core. So it's going to be quite the workout. Yeah. What you're going to need for this workout is not a lot of equipment. You're just going to need a chair or a box of some sort. Uh, you're going to need a some kind of a weight for the, the last four minutes. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, the last four minutes is just going to be strictly abs and you can do it with a weight or without. I'm going to be using 20 pound kettlebell, but uh, probably 20 pounds or less would be ideal for a weight. We're doing Russian twists with a weight. and. Oh, and you'll also need something to slide around with. I'm using my, you know, salad, uh, salad lid container thing. Uh, if you're using, if you're on carpet, use this or a magazine cover. If you're on wood floors, use a towel. Uh, use two, two tea towels. You're going to need two of them. And, no, I think that's it. You're going to need a lot of water. <laughs> oh my god, I'm kind of scared to do this but it's gonna be good. We're gonna get that six pack. All right, I'm gonna start my timer and let's get going. All right, the first exercise is gonna be just lateral touchdowns. I'm just gonna move my chair out of the way for now. And, oh, I gotta turn the volume up on my phone. Otherwise I won't hear it. Okay, touchdowns, get down. 
keep your chest up, and just kind of lunge out to the side like this and just touch it down. This is our cardio portion. And keep going. See, I'm wearing my sweatband for today's workout because it's serious workout. I'm gonna need the sweatband. Uh, keep your chest up, get nice and low. We've got 10 seconds left. All right, next we've got three switch lunges and a kick. So get into your position. One, three, kick and reach for your toes. Put your leg back, three more. So you're alternating the kick every time. This is working our legs, cardio and core. Three for one. Really squeeze your abs when you do the kick. Going. Get nice and low on those lunges. Woo. Heart rate's coming up already. Five seconds. All right. Grab your sliders. We're doing around the world abs with a push up. Get into plank, bring your knees up, bring them out and around, now do a push-up. Bring your knees out, sorry, your feet out, and down, push-up. So we're alternating directions, so in, out, push-up, out, down, push-up. Oh my gosh. Come on, 15 seconds. Really squeeze that core. Come on. That's a good one, I like that one. I made that one up this morning. Okay, back to cardio. 10 high knees, half burpee, tuck jump. Tuck jump. You don't want to do tuck jump, just do a squat. Half burpee. Tuck jump. Come on, keep going. Chair, but I'm gonna 
So four side kick outs. One, two, and you want to squeeze and twist. Now four shoulder taps. One, two, three, four. Come on, keep that core on nice and tight. Do not sag your hips. One, two, three, four. Come on, four more. Let's go. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four. Come on. Oh. Nice work. What do we got? Four star jumps. Let's get into our plank. Four jacks. Now, hop in. Four star jumps. One, two, three, four. This is our cardio. Plank jacks. Plank jacks. Come on, keep it going. Got 10 seconds. Come on, keep going. Nice work. Legs. Okay, get ready. We're doing, get low. Side squat, squat jump, narrow squat, squat jump, other side. Oh yeah, get those legs. So you're gonna have a six pack and amazing legs after this workout, I promise. Come on, 15 seconds. Don't quit. Oh my god. Come on, keep going. Stay low. Side squat. Oops. Squat jump. Whoo! Okay. Oblique leg raise. Get on your back. Lift those legs up, over to the side, 45 degree angle, obliques. Up, center, up, other side. Slow it down here. Slower is harder, and you wanna concentrate. Feel it right here. When you're lifting and lowering, do it with control. Don't go all the way down. You want to keep the tension in your muscles the entire time. We're getting our abs and our obliques here. Nice work. Okay, we've got one-legged push-up with a box jump. Again, you don't need to do box jump. You can step up, you can do a squat. Whatever you want. You can do this on your knees as well. Now do the other leg. Lift it. Hop in. See, this is so much fun. These workouts are awesome, I think, because you're constantly moving, you're constantly doing something different. You just don't get a chance to get bored, which I get. Bored sometimes at the gym doing regular gym workouts. I mean, I can never sit on a treadmill for half an hour. It's just, I just can't do it. But I can do burpees and box jumps and stuff like that forever. Okay, that was a lot of talking. Chair side lunges, cardio. Okay, we're just stepping up, touch it down. 
like a mini lunge. Whoa. Careful. Whew. Keep breathing. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. 20 seconds. Come on, push. exercises. They're fun. A few more seconds. Oh. Okay. Three switch lunges with a kick and toe touch. Get in position. One. Kick. Make sure you're alternating sides. Get nice and low. Kick with control. Chest up. Oh my God. Keep going. Come on. 10 seconds.
guys doing? Get those knees up all the way to your waist. Come on, get down, power up. Oh, catch up. 20 seconds. Remember, you 
can go nice and slow. It actually makes it harder. Also, if you don't go all the way up, all the way down, it makes it harder. Because at the top and bottom, you kind of get a little bit of a rest, so you want to make the movements a bit smaller, make it a bit more challenging. Okay, we've got one-legged push-up with a box jump. My new favorite. Okay, one leg push up, hop in, hop up, down, other side. Okay, I think this is my favorite interval in this workout. Let me know which your favorite interval is. If you do it, I'm curious. Five seconds. Keep going. Oh my 
gosh. Don't stop.
seconds.
can do it. Let's go. We've got five seconds left. Push through. Come on. Last one. Okay. Just gonna pause it very quickly. Grab some water. Okay. We've got two exercises left, which we're repeating twice. First one is Russian twist. And thank you for whoever let me know what the name of that exercise was in the last video that I used it in. And uh, you're gonna need a weight of some sort, or no weight, it's up to you. And then we're also doing a static hold. So I'll show you what that is. I'm gonna start the timer again, and let's go. Okay, first exercise, Russian twist. Feet up in the air if you can. Flat back. Strong core, obviously. Twist. We've got 30 seconds. Oh. 
Honestly, I didn't think that would be so challenging, but it really was. Okay, I'm gonna stop the timer. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, hope you like this workout. Oh, 40 minutes of cardio and core and legs. I don't know, how does my six pack look? It's sweaty now, right? So, you know, we wanna do this exercise or this workout a few times a week to really see results. You gotta be consistent with it. Doing this workout along with all my other workouts, um, you know, four times a week, three to five times a week I think is ideal. The more, you know, the better. You don't want to do it every day because that's too much stress for your body, but um, yeah, hope you like this workout. Let me know your feedback in the comments below. Make sure you stretch it out. Make sure you drink lots of water, and I'll see you next time.